What is up everybody? This is the Wrestling Fan 410 back again with another video. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the SummerSlam pay-per-view last night. Um so we're going to start off with the first match which was a six-man tag team match. Um Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio, and John Morrison versus Alberto Del Rio, R Truth, and The Miz. And this match wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to be The Miz versus Rey Mysterio and R Truth versus uh John Morrison and Rey Mysterio no, sorry. Uh Kofi Kingston and Alberto Del Rio weren't even supposed to be on the card. But this match was actually a pretty fun match. A couple of high flying moments and um the match ended with uh Rey Mysterio doing the 619 to I think it was the Miz, but I can't remember. And Rey Mysterio got the win for his team. That was a pretty fun match for a good and a good opener. Um next match was Mark Henry versus Sheamus. Um it was actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be two big men going at it again. It was getting boring for a bit, but then the match ended with a uh count out because Mark Henry uh threw Sheamus through the barricade and uh the guy that was working uh in the crowd went flying backwards. It was pretty funny. But uh count out Mark Henry won. But uh, Mark Henry didn't break Sheamus' leg because Sheamus was able to get back into the ring after the 10 count. So maybe this rivalry is going to keep going. Next match was Beth Phoenix versus Kelly Kelly for the Divas Championship. This was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I think it was a lot better than a lot of people thought it was going to be. WWE actually gave these, diva, uh, these Divas some time and they were able to show what they're made of. And it was really good. Kelly Kelly surprised me. I wanted her to win, but she surprised me. I thought Beth Phoenix was going to win the Divas Championship. Good match there. Surprised. Wade Barrett versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, this was another throw-on match. And I really thought Daniel Bryan was going to win because I thought they wanted to give him a big push because he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, Safax for, uh, 41, sorry, uh, said in his, I think it was SummerSlam diary, that, uh, oh yeah, Wade Barrett won that match, uh, which really surprised me, but he thinks that Wade Barrett's gonna beat Daniel Bryan at Money in the Bank, no, sorry, Night of Champions, which I will be attending in Buffalo, uh, for the... Money in the Bank briefcase. I think Wade Barrett deserves a push, but I really want to see Daniel Bryan win the title. Yeah, so. Good match there, though. Next match, Randy Orton versus Christian. No holds barred. Great match. Great, great match. Um, really fun. Lots of weapons and stuff. Um, I don't know what happened to Randy Orton's thumb, but he gave the thumbs up. With his busted open thumb. It was bleeding like crazy. I think it was when Randy Orton uh, did that last table uh, through suplexed, I think. Uh, Christian into that last table. Uh, and I think he lost a couple of layers of skin. And it opened him up, it opened him up pretty wide. Good match, though. It ended with, uh, on the steel, uh, the steel steps. RKO on the steel steps. One, two, three. At the beginning of the match, it really surprised me. Edge came out, and I thought Edge was going to be helping Christian, but pretty much Edge came out, talked for a bit, and then called, uh, Christian a whiny little bitch which was pretty funny, and then left the ring pretty much, and then the match started. Next match, CM Punk versus John Cena. 
Really good match. Wasn't as good as Money in the Bank, though. That's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think about that match. But anyways, it was pretty good. I wish that WWE gave them more time. Instead of ending the pay-per-view 10 minutes before 11, like uh, 10.50, the pay-per-view ended in East Coast time. Um, good match, though. And then it ended with John Cena having his foot on the ropes, but Triple H didn't see it. Oh, yeah, my favorite part in the match was when it was almost a double count out, and Triple H just said no, and actually threw both guys in the ring. That was pretty funny. I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, but, yeah, uh, CM Punk won. And then... Kevin Nash came out from the crowd and pretty much uh, jackknife powerbombs CM Punk. No one knows why that happened. Triple H seemed confused. And then Alberto Del Rio came out and cashed in. First move he made, wins the championship. He is the new WWE Undisputed Champion. And yeah, I wasn't really happy about that. But overall, I give this pay-per-view out of 10, 7 out of 10. Leave me your th thoughts below. Make a video response I'm sure many people have made uh, reviews on this already. And this is mine. Until next video.